Hello there, aspiring Tinos. Today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. In a way, it's kind of back to basics, but not really because none of this is simple. Today, we're gonna talk about the four different philosophies of trading. And these are approaches, philosophies, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I wanted to teach you the one which I think is the easiest to use and which has the second highest profit when used in isolation first. But now we're gonna talk about all of the other approaches which also exist. First up, we have flipping. This is not to be confused with the trade chat, which is its own style. This is specifically buying items at market price or close to market price, buying parts or maybe buying sets if they're a little bit off, but mainly buying parts and then selling those at close to market price. There is a little bit of a convenience tax when you're selling a full set, which means that they're always more expensive than the sum of the parts. So that's where the profit lies. Essentially, the total cost is more expensive than buying the parts individually. This is a horrible way to make platinum. Even if you go into warframe.market and you put up buy orders and then uh, sell whatever sets by parts, whatever you do, it doesn't really matter. Even if you use trade chat for this, it's hopeless. I mean, you are not gonna profit from this might as well knock it out of your head immediately. well you are going to profit obviously that's the point but the profit will be so slow and it's such an uninteresting and stiff way to do trading that you're gonna be bored out of your mind and give up really quickly i wasted too much time on this approach because i didn't know of any of these other methods so my advice to you is stay away from this one the rest the last three they're more interchangeable and can be used in combination with one another and to some extent it is a question of preference. Second method is probably the easiest to understand and I call this one only sell. This is where you farm out items, you play a lot, you don't stay in your orbit, you're being very efficient, you are next, 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 then you just sell the items which you get. You know, you might think well that, you know, that's not trading but it is trading because you know, you're buying items you need to get a better build to be more efficient and then you sell the items that you get to other players. So there's an exchange between you and other players in terms of items and currency, thereby it's a form of trading. Um, for people who don't like the, you know, traditional understanding of trading, this is a very great approach to have because you don't need to um, actually do a lot of trading. You can just play the game and still make profit and get the items you need. Um, there's a very low opportunity cost with this method, but just being honest with you, out of the last three, it's the least profitable. Obviously, it's never the person doing the work who, you know, benefits the most from their work. That's just not how <laughs> capitalism works, and this is on a free market. Now, the third one is basically the one which I've taught you so far, and I call this one passive income. And basically what you want to do is that you want to sit on as many items as possible, which is going to increase the greatest amount over the shortest amount of time. So it's all about investing and it's all about understanding the cycle of content when what will be worth a lot. Uh, this is the approach that I've almost exclusively used, though I have borrowed some of the strategies from these other uh, tendencies, philosophies, whatever that I'm going to talk about today. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where it's at. That's stocking up frames. That's using warframe.market. Uh, and with this approach, very importantly, you're you're almost never going to use trade chat at all. But as you can see by like my gains and what I'm where I'm at now, it's very poss possible for it to be very profitable for you as well. And I've seen in the comments that at least some of you have already had some decent success with it. So finally, we have the trade chat approach. And I mean, you're allowed to do this, but let me tell you, you should at least make sure that you are okay with the moral ambiguity of it. Because you are going to be taking advantage of players who doesn't know any better. If you are selling a Ivara set for 80 platinum right now, she's roughly around 40. Then you're taking advantage of the fact that that player didn't know that they could get that same set from warframe.market or the platinum almost instantaneously so i'm asking you this right now do you think that there is a disproportionately large amount of newer players 
who doesn't know about warframe.market compared to experienced players. So that's exactly right. Instead of sharing your knowledge, you're basically taking advantage of what you know to profit. And you're allowed to do that. I just want to make sure that you know what you're doing. Anyways, so in terms of trade chat, it's the most trade heavy approach because essentially, if you have trades left and you have any currency or any items that you want to sell, you don't play the game, you just trade. And you make use of Maru's Bazaar, spending your time there, hoping that someone will be willing to pay more than an item is worth. Or you go in trade chat and you try and haggle and you try to buy items for cheaper than what they're worth. And that's basically the crux of it. You invest your active time into trading. This is by far and away the most difficult way of trading. And it's very easy to make a mistake and become the lamb instead of the lion. Okay, because other players will try to do the same thing. That's why you will see almost all prices in trade chat being overpriced. Um, However, even if I am not a huge fan of this approach, that doesn't mean that I can't teach you how to do it. I feel like everyone is entitled to make their own decision and it's not right for me to bury this information just because I'm not a fan of it. In reasonable time, I will go ahead and start producing some videos for this first method. Obviously, I don't think the third needs much, much explanation. But one more thing that I would like to mention is the fact that the second approach is the most universal because it can most easily incorporate elements of the third and the first one for example buying primed junk you have to go into trade chat and buy items because of a misunderstanding of how much prime parts are actually worth and then transform that into prime mods so you're spending active time in trade chat but then you're spending passive time letting that you know increase over time in the same sense using the third method of just farming stuff and then selling it by farming it but then selling it later you are essentially stockpiling it so then you're using the second approach and the third one so they're not completely boxed in as separate approaches and they can be interchanged a little bit but for the most part especially the first one is just its own beast uh, and i'll cover that in greater detail coming up but right now i just want to make you aware that they exist and um, I want you to seriously consider if it's something you want to make use of. But anyways, I'll see you in the next.